What's up, y'all? It's your boy Chinadu, C H I N E D U, and I just watched the 2015 BET Awards. And I have to say, real talk, no lie, this was the best BET Awards show they've ever had. Let's recap. Y'all can't tell me that Diddy and Bad Boy didn't shut that show down. That performance was fire. I know Diddy fell. I saw it. I posted memes on it. I see he fell, but he did it like a G. He didn't fall the way like Mikel, Miguel did at the other award show where he landed on some girl's neck. He just kind of fell in the little pit thing because Lil' Kim was going to come out right there. And nobody really noticed it though. I mean, he got up, he kept going like a G. You know, he, <laughs> I ain't worried about it. I'm Diddy, you know? Seeing Mace, 112, and Lil' Kim, and Faith Evans on the stage together, that was so tight. Like, if you weren't like standing up on your feet rapping to these songs too, you probably... I don't know what to tell you, man. You should just sign to cash money and just call it quits. Janet Jackson's tribute was good. It was good. Good dancing and all that. But for some reason, I, I honestly, I thought I was going to see Janet sing a little bit, do a little bit, though. But then I realized it's Janet Jackson. They probably didn't have the money to really pay her like that. You know, she showed up. I mean, I think The Weeknd is a good singer. But he was not a good singer at the BET Awards. Like, I think what it was, I think he couldn't hear himself in his earpieces, whatever. That's what I think, though, because he can sing. But I don't know what's going on on the stage, whatever. Luckily, Alicia Keys was there. And I was like, is that Alicia Keys? That's Alicia Keys. Did y'all see Ray J and Brandy in the crowd? Brandy looked phenomenal, as always. Ray J looked like he was high as a kite. Like, during, like, slow songs, he was just... Meanwhile, like, Brandon got to hold his arm like this, like, you don't sit down, you mess this up for me. God love Charlie Wilson. Uncle Charlie! Uncle Charlie. Smokey Robinson gave game to the whole crowd. He let them all know, check your egos. He was talking to everybody, not just a few people, everybody. He's done this for six decades. So many people have been in the game for five years and want to call themselves a legend. Thank you for putting it in perspective, Smokey. Thank you. It was good to see K. Michelle and Tamar Braxton bear the hatchet, or even if they really didn't, it's good to see them like on stage performing together though, because it makes so much money. It's no money and negative publicity like that. It kind of is, but in the long run, it don't help either one of their careers though. So it's good they just buried the hatchet. I like how all y'all were just attacking Tamar Braxton about them eyelashes, man. Why you? <laughs> Go Patty. I really enjoy Anthony Anderson and Tracy Ellis Ross as the host, so they did a good job. They kept it funny. Like, a lot of hosts that have done it could not keep it funny at all. They did a great job. I loved it. You know you got a hit show when you're singing songs off of your show and people know those songs more than the actual songs on the radio. Overall, it was a good performance, man. I can't lie. They did a great job this year at the BT Awards, for real, for real. I know I missed several parts of the show and things like that, though, but it's because, like, I watched it, but I was working on other stuff, too, at the same time. Um, if there are other parts of the show I missed, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll reply to all my comments, and I want to know what you thought of the BT Awards. Please tell me in the comment section below. I'll reply to all my comments. Click that like button right here. It should be right there, right there or over here, and share this video, y'all. Um, that's pretty much it. My name is Shindu, C-H-I-N-E-D-U, and this is PSA Radio. Please let me know your thoughts on the BET Awards of 2015. I thought it was the best ever, in my opinion. But let me know. By the way, too, real quick, how many of y'all think they should stop calling Tigger to like host these shows? Like, It was cool seeing Naturi from Power, because I love her from Power. Speaking of Power, real quick, before I go, did y'all see Lala on stage? The first thing I thought about well, I seen your titties on power. I seen them. My name is Shinadu, C-H-I-N-E-D-U, and this is PSA Radio. Thanks for your time.